Well, hello there, stamping friends. It's Tracy Rather from Plum Crazy Stamping. It is December 14th, 2022. And we are set to take a look at a dozen uh, different card designs. I ended up getting these different cards for us to look at tonight while I was out in Pennsylvania at the annual Stampin' Up! event. So while I was on, on stage, I had taken one of my cards and made over 90 of them and then swapped with other people to uh, get a whole bunch of different samples for us to look at together. So that's um, one of the things we're doing tonight. And at the end of our presentation tonight, I'm actually going to be uh, making um, my version of one of the swap cards. So we'll do that at the end. And then before we get started, I wanted to just bring uh, your attention to two things. First is I just heard yesterday that Stampin' Up! is having free shipping tomorrow, Thursday, December 15th, uh, starting at um, midnight Mountain Time, going to 11.59 Mountain Time. So if there is anything on your wish list, uh, it would be a great time to go ahead and um, get that order with free shipping kind of a way of um, saying Merry Christmas from Stampin' Up! Um, talking about your Christmas wish list, I want to go ahead and flip the camera down and I want to show you something that I'm doing um, for the Christmas season to help you out. So let me go ahead and I'm going to flip the camera down so you know this just takes a minute. You'll see me go upside down. And then you should be seeing my desktop. And I'm going to just make sure that the computer is catching up with us here. Okay. So you should be seeing on your desktop here my holiday wish list. And so this is a program that I'm doing this year to help you get stamping supplies from your loved ones. So I don't know about you, but people are constantly saying, you know, what do you want for Christmas, especially my husband? And sometimes it's so hard for me to describe to him what I want for Christmas. So this is one way that I have um, identified that um, you can get exactly what you want. So you can get this form, my holiday wish list, from me, and you can fill this in right online with your name, email, phone number, and shipping address. Then on these lines, you can fill in the products that you're interested in from stamping up with the item number, page number, how many, and what the cost is. And then you can also let that person know if you would like a gift certificate. And then you let me know who I should contact about your Christmas list. So you would put their name, phone number, email address, and relationship to you on this form. And then you send this back to me, and I take it from there. I will actually personally contact the people that you have on your list here, and I'll let them know what you would like for Christmas. And if they want to order those things for you, I'll help them to do that. So just FYI, if you're interested in doing this, just email me at Tracy, T-R-A-C-I, at PlumCrazyStamping.com, and I would be happy to help out your family, friends, loved ones, to get you those um, stamping supplies that you'd like for Christmas. All right, so let's uh, go to the second, to now we're actually at the third part of our um, time together tonight. So... First, I want to show you a couple of cards that came from uh, products in the annual catalog. I just want to make sure I don't miss any. So the first one here is Christmas. Um, it's called Christmas Season, and it's on um, page 44. And so here are two different cards. Oh, actually, this one I want to open right up for you. 
because I think this is so gorgeous. So this is called a book binding card and it is glued together on this side where the gold is and then you open it up and I think this is just so beautiful. I have used this set a lot and find it to be um, just gorgeous. And so then they layered some circles. They actually put some um, shimmer paper behind here. They have also, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the uh, crumb cake was also put through a um, embossing folder. And then the beautiful uh, Merry Christmas label. They've done um, the uh, branches that are right here, the pine needles. They're also done tone on tone right on the front of this card. So this is a pretty special card. Well done. Okay, so one example of using this set. Let's see, where am I going to put these? I think I'll pile them over here. Okay, and then we've got another one here. This one is from Mary Ann Rossiter. And sometimes there's things inside, sometimes not. This one there is not. But this is using the same set. This is a... Um, um, two-step stamping so that that's how you get the two different colors in the pine cones and then the iridescent um, gems and then this sentiment is from the Christmas to remember set and this not only has the uh, stamp sets but there's a die set called seasonal labels dies that also uh, go with cutting these out if you're interested so I think that's also very pretty all right. Now I have to tell you, this one threw me for a loop. I don't know for any of you that are kind of catalog experts, if you could have figured out what stamp set this is. And I went through the catalog a number of times to figure this out. And it's actually the Wisteria Wishes. And it's these Wisteria Flowers upside the other way to make it look like trees and then there are dyes that also cut out those wisteria flowers but they've done them in greens to make them look like trees isn't that cool and then i just love how they did some very soft shading and some spatters on here and then this is from the uh, stamp set that we just had on the other page there, the Seasons Greetings. How elegant um, and what a unique way to make more than one use for a stamp set. So anyway, that one kept me guessing a little bit. All right. And then we have Textured Chick on page, or Chic, I'm sorry, on page 98. And this one I also think is beautiful. So this is the gold, is a gold, um, oh, what are they calling this? It's it's a the gold paper that you can get with this set. It's a specialty designer series paper. And uh, that's the gold. And then the other papers with gold in them are also part of this designer series paper. Um, it's called Texture Chic. And it's 12 by 12 paper. So they did, you know, three strips of that and then put some of their uh, die cuts that are all a part of this same suite. So I thought that was also very pretty. All right, those are the only ones that I got from our annual catalog, which is good for quite a while yet, obviously. But in our mini catalog, which is going to expire at the beginning of January, I have a lot more um cards to show you so i know i have done a number of cards let's see this is jean dyer and this is with the uh sweet sweetest christmas so i kind of i like on this how the uh pattern of the candy canes and then the pattern of the ribbon i think is really cool so uh there is the example of that one 
Um, and then this one, how they did the uh, trees, this one took me a while to figure out as well. Now this is from Regal Reindeer. So it's featuring the trees of Regal Reindeer, not the reindeer. So it took me a while to figure this out. And then I like how they cut out this label with the sentiment from that set and actually probably took a dauber and went around the edges with the uh, evening evergreen to, um, you know, make it stand up and it's on um, some uh, dimensionals. And then just doing one die cut here in the center. And then the snow, if you can see that on the bottom, is actually a little hill of glimmer paper. And then this little bitty bunny is um, colored a little gray and popped up on a mini post-it or a mini dimensional as well. So very classy card. Oh, and I, if I have not asked you to please sign in, thank you. Hi, Donna, Rose, Kathy, Faileen, nice to see you. And I know I might be missing a few because I can't see your comments right now, but uh, anyway, welcome. Okay, so here, oh, I just love this set, especially, you know, to send to families with kids. This is the Santa Express Suite Collection. And the person that did this card did a great job. I want to see if they did anything in, but inside because this is so beautiful. So the person that made this one, her name is Diane Marie. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes, look at the jumping little penguin inside. Isn't that adorable? And Santa is in the um, on the train here with the tree in the back. And actually, I don't know if you can see, but the whimsical woodlands um, embossing folder was used back here. And that uh, little um, gem is actually on the top of one of the trees and then obviously she has also used the designer series paper uh, in this and colored this with um, Stampin' Blends so this this card is a lot of work but wow is it wonderful so we've got that all right, we've got two different sides here. So first, let's look at Jingle, Jingle, Jingle. And so how simple, but yet I just love the red and white. And this is from Crazy Penguin Designs, Pam Irwin. So tis the season to be jolly. And I like how she used the uh, candy cane as an exclamation point or, you know, as a little decoration there. Okay, let's see. Hi, Coral. So nice to see you. All right. So then on this side, we have the decorated with happiness. And so what's cool about these stamps is there are the outline stamps. And then we have the ones to color it in, um, you know, where we can put the um, more... Oh, I don't even know what you would call this. You know, it looks like a scribble um, to put the color behind it. And then she has the uh, cord in here and some bling. And this is, let's see, uh, Jamie B. on Pinterest is where this card was cased from. Okay. So anyway, you know, you can also see so many different card examples on Pinterest. I like this. I think this is very cheery. All right. Now this um, set in particular, this is the Lights Aglow set. And there were two stamp sets, but the part I like best is the paper that uh, goes with this. I just think it's gorgeous. They actually ended up using three strips of it. And then the die cut is so cool. That is a part of this um sweet as well and then using gems in here and these gems are called let's see here festive pearls and she must have used them in soft succulent and uh, they really set off this paper and then putting some of um, 
some of this um, gold and vanilla ribbon behind it. So all the shimmer on here, this is so classy and elegant. So that is Lights Aglow. All right, then we're going to go to um, just another example of the Whimsical Woodlands. Now that's kind of the feature on this card with the red, but then the white is that embossing folder. And then I'm not sure, I did not see where this um, sentiment came from, but then they're using the little red rhinestones on here. And, you know, the red ribbon really sets uh, that off with the red layer. This is real red. Okay. And I know so many people are in love with these little gnomes. So this is from the Storybook Gnomes Suite. And there's a stamp set and a set of dies. And I have seen so many people make... Christmas ornaments is one choice, and they put these feet on the back so they swing. And they've obviously done that as they have set this up on the card. This also has some really cool um, embossing folder, but I don't know that it's one of ours. Um, not sure. And this, let's see, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year is a sentiment from this Kindest Gnomes uh, stamp set. So I just think that's adorable. All right, so did you see anything that you would consider a favorite there? I know I have many of those sets. There's a few I don't have, so it's kind of nice to see them. Well, let me show you the last uh, card that I decided I was going to use uh, to show you tonight because no matter what paper you have, what stamp set you have, if you haven't finished your Christmas cards and you're kind of panicking and there's not time to get something in the mail for this year, I wanted to show you something that you'd be able to use. So with this card, there's obviously the card uh, base, that's a regular card base. Then there is a white layer with a very thin um, border around uh, the crumb cake part here, which has been put through an embossing folder. I think you can see the embossing folder impression. And then we have two different white squares that are the same size. One layered with the red, just like the card base, one layered with designer series paper. And then we've got a little bit smaller square with the red, then with the white, which is what we put our sentiment on, and then some rhinestones. So very basic. And actually, you can make those squares whatever sizes you want to. I don't have the um, exact dimensions written right here, but I will put it in my email next week when I share the free tutorial with you. So let me show you... Um, what I did with this, so we'll leave that one sit here. Now, I decided to go with, I think I chose Garden Green. And then I decided to put the evergreen trees as my um, background here. And I use Sahara Sand. And then I did stay with the white. And this is the painted, painted Christmas designer series paper. And then I changed it up a little bit going with gold um, bling in here. And then just put a uh, big Merry Christmas in here. So this is the one that I'm going to show you just even in another color how easy this is to put together. Okay, so we'll do a little stamping. I'm first going to just take my card base, which is a half a sheet of cardstock here. And I'm going to... Um, just use my bone folder to make sure it's nice and well creased. Okay, and then I'm going to start with different layers. Now this is what I'm going to be uh, stamping on for the inside of the card. And I'm going to be stamping on this with my sentiments. So I'm going to just set those aside. 
and then I'm going to start layering my card. So this is the normal card layer size. So if you've been stamping with me before, this is four by five and a quarter. I'm just going to go ahead and use my uh, glue to glue that down. And I always like using my glue on these because if I'm trying to make things straight, it gives me that little opportunity for some wiggle room, and I always appreciate that. Okay. Now, I thought I would show you just another way to do this. So instead of putting this, um, another color of cardstock, through to be my next layer, I decided to um, use just additional designer series paper. So if you don't have... Uh, embossing folders, then you can just use more designer series paper. That's um, Stampin' Up's word for patterned paper. So I'm just going to layer that on here next. And this one I believe is, let's, let me get the ruler so I'm telling you the truth. This one is, let's see, three and five eighths by four and seven eighths. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead with the um, darker colored paper on the white. And so the white in this case, and I think they'll both be the same. This is, let's see, two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths to be square. And then the smaller uh, piece is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. So I've done that. The white is the same as what I told you with white. And then the um, two and three quarters by two and three quarters of that designer series paper because I have, if you can tell, just a very, very fine border around them. So let me go ahead and glue these layers together. Now, like I said, depending upon your card design and how you want to do this, you could pick whatever size squares you wanted to feature on your card. And I liked that this had the very mini border around it as just kind of a little bit different feature. And then I'm going to uh, glue this. Because there's so many layers, I decided not to pop something up. So I am just continuing to glue layers on here. So now I want this to be pretty much centered here. Okay. So I'm just going to hold that in place a second. So there were a lot of different colors in this designer series paper that I could choose. But I thought I would show just another color for you. So let me go ahead now and we'll glue our designer series paper on here. And this is going to have the very thin border again. So I'm just gluing that together and holding it in place, just giving the glue a long enough time to set. And then I'll be flipping that over to put a little more glue on here. Okay, now this one, I don't know if there's a right way. I'm going to square this in here. And I'm trying to make the size of those triangles somewhat the same. Okay. Just put that in place. Okay. Now before I do any more layering, I want to go ahead and do my stamping. And the stamp set that I'm using tonight is called Holly Jolly Wishes. So because I'm going to put this smaller one on the front and then I'll put the, the larger sentiment on the um, 
inside and I'm going to use olive green and these are cling stamps so I will not need my um, pierce mat. I'll just be able to go ahead and stamp right on these directly. So go ahead and open up our old olive here and now I am going to have this on the diagonal on the front of the card so I'm going to set it that way before I try to stamp this here. Take a peek at how dark my ink is. Every uh, ink pad I have, I think they're all different ages. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and center this. Sorry for my head being in the way. All right, so we have that. And it's a little lighter on one side, and I have to tell you, last week somebody said, oh, that looks vintage if it's not all, uh, you know, one shade. I like that. I, I like that it's a little vintage. So it sounds a little more professional than, oh, I stamped it a little lighter <laughs> on one side. So I'll take the vintage. The vintage uh, result. Okay, and then this one I'm going to go about two-thirds down on the piece of paper or cardstock I'm sorry just regular basic white cardstock here for the card insert and this is also four by five and a quarter okay close up my ink pad I love large sentiments they really make a statement right let's get a little glue on the back of this Go ahead and put that on the inside and just center that. Okay, and now I need to layer this on top. The white is going to go on top of my uh, olive green, a little bit smaller. I can measure this for you in just a minute. Now I made this a little bit wider because I wanted it to show off, um, you know, a little bit more color on top here. Okay. Now you could start quite the assembly line, especially if you have anybody in your family helping you to go ahead and put these cards together or I would do them in an assembly line you know as you do the different layers okay now I just want to add some of the red rhinestones on here because I think that will make this pop so you could do gold if you wanted or you could do white iridescent I just thought these little red ones would be so uh, festive on here so I'm just going to take my take your pick tool and slide them off of here and I'm going to just put one in each corner to liven it up a little bit. What a little bling can do, right? <laughs> All right, let's get one over here. Oops, come on. And one more. Now, usually I don't use an even number, but with it going in the corners like that, I think that's perfectly legal. All right, so then we've got, you know, this layered card. I really think it's pretty. And you know what? This wouldn't just need to be for Christmas. You could do a birthday card like this, you know, any kind of card that you wanted to, or in soft colors for a sympathy card or a thinking of you card. Anyway, I really think it would have a lot of... Um, different applications. So there we go with our cards tonight. Let me take a peek and see if you've had any questions. Oh, Kathy, I'm glad you liked it. Betty, I, I'm glad to hear you'll be going back home pretty soon. Hi, Mary Ellen. 
I think, oh, the sentiment came from a paper pumpkin, Mary and Bright. I bet you're right. It looked familiar, but I couldn't think of what stamp set that was in. Very good. Thanks, Rosemary. Okay, well, here you have it. So just last minute reminder, free shipping tomorrow. Let me know if I can help you. And let me know if you would like me to help you get your holiday wish list to your loved ones. I'd be more than happy to do that. Let me go ahead and pop this up. And just remind you that my email is Tracy, T-R-A-C-I, at PlumCrazyStamping.com. And let me know if there's anything that I can help you with as you are uh, working on your Christmas cards or trying to get some stamping supplies. And um, neither here nor there, happy stamping. I hope you have a great week, and I'll look forward to seeing you next week Wednesday. Oh, yeah, and I might have a surprise um, Facebook Live maybe in a day or two, and I'd be putting together the birthday kit that we can get. Um, in our kits collection, I'm going to be gifting those to some of my uh, special people at Christmas. So I might put one of those together with you online. So anyway, I will see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye now.